So I think while Jeff dials in, um, I think we can start. Um, can I have a motion to open? A motion made to open. Second. Okay, so this is Alicia Greco. I am the vice chair of the select board of the town of Newberry. Um, allow me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. So members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Michael Doyle. Yes. Jerry Heavey. Yes. Jeff Walker. Caller. We'll come back to Jeff. Uh, staff, when I call your name, can you please respond in the affirmative? Tracy Blaze, Town Administrator. Yes. Julie O'Brien, Executive Administrator. Yes. Martha Taylor, Planning Director. Yes. And we have an anticipated speaker on the agenda. Um, please respond in the affirmative, Jeff Shaw. Yes. Okay, this open meeting of the Newbury Board of Selectmen, or actually the Select Board of Newbury, is being conducted virtually consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2020, in the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. The order, which you can find posted on the town's website, allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not, however, ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will not feature public comment and it is not a public hearing. For this meeting, the Newbury Board of Selectmen is conveying by Zoom meeting link and posted on the agenda at the town's website. All of the materials for this meeting, except any executive session materials are available on the website and we recommend the members and the public follow the agenda as posted on the website. We are now turning um, to the first item on the agenda. Before we do so, permit, permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes. I will introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude their re remarks, I will go down the line of board members, inviting each by name to provide any comment, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called. Further, please remember to mute your phone or computer when you are not speaking. And I currently hear some background noise. Um, so if you're not on mute, if you could please mute. Please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and be sure to state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in dialogue with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourself. Finally, each vote is taken in this meeting will be conducted by roll call vote. Now, tonight's agenda item is um, just a discussion, so there'll be no voting. Um, we have asked the town hall um, project principal and president from Contact Architecture, Jeff Shaw, to join us. And um, I just want to put a framework around why Jeff is, is here. Um, the board has changed. We have two new members since we have looked through all of this um, town hall slash police station building projects. And I thought it would be beneficial, actually, Chairman Colby, um, thought it would be beneficial to bring Jeff back to kind of lay a foundation for the two new members to understand um, where we currently are um, and uh, what our options are and um, possibly field any questions if, if any are come around. So um, on that note, Jeff, I'm going to yield the floor to you. 
Um, if you want to give a brief history, we can start with that and then move on to where we currently are. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. So thanks for allowing me to speak tonight. Um, I'm happy to go into whatever detail you'd like, but I'll start with, as uh, Alicia mentioned, a, a short overview. Our firm was hired uh, several years ago to conduct a study of what was then considered to be a combined police and town hall project um, to see if we could uh, make the existing town hall work for both purposes going forward. We did a number of different design studies, um, providing some pricing that went along with that. And underpinning that was a space needs analysis of both the police department as well as the town hall uh, department and all of the functions within. And the results of that programming study uh, allowed us to understand how big this building would end up having to be. And so our initial studies showed a combined facility quite sizable and given the constraints on the site and what was uh, needed for parking and access and uh, servicing both real essentially combined facilities in one that was not deemed to be the most successful proposal. So ultimately, as you all know, we are now in the process of building a separate police station just next to the fire station. The town hall facility at the same time we were doing the police station project was looked at in a number of different studies. We looked at four different options for the town hall. The, um, the program identified the space needs of roughly uh, a little under 11,000 square feet, including the um, uh, TV studio that um, was initially uh, thought would be part of the facility. Um, my understanding was that the potential was that there would be grant funds available for that uh, build out, but we would house it within this facility. Um, that was uh, ultimately the largest scheme was approximately um, 10,950 square feet. And the smallest scheme was approximately 7,500 square feet. Um, we, did, we did end up doing a revision to the largest scheme to include the studio, which added another uh, approximately 1,600 square feet, 1,700 square feet. So the, the largest ultimately was really the 12,000, roughly 700 square feet scheme, but that included the studio within it. So the program was, was largely what was originally identified. Control them, please. The three design options started with the concept of sticking with the existing town hall layout as it currently exists on the upper level and renovating that in place, basically keeping the walls the way they were, um, and then expanding to get the additional space needs required out towards the back towards the fire station. And a small addition was conceived of there, roughly about 32 by 40 feet on two stories. On the lower level, as you probably can imagine, the existing police function there really uh, precluded using it for town facilities. The um, cell blocks are there and a lot of other mechanical spaces and, and really spaces that wouldn't work for uh, town hall use. So uh, more heavy renovation was conceived of there, really changing a lot of the layout. Um, at the same time, all of these options include new mechanical systems and um, alterations to the structure where necessary. Because this building has a uh, lower level walkout, it is not technically required that we provide an elevator. Um, the options include an option that does have an elevator in it. That is this, the, uh, the largest version of this building. We did provide an elevator there, um, mainly because it's not convenient to, to walk outside in the winter time to go down a level if you uh, need access. Um, but that being said, the smaller versions of this building did not have an elevator. The middle scheme, um, slightly um, larger than the least, the smallest did have a slightly larger addition and then the final larger scheme had an even larger addition, but all of them were two story additions towards the fire station. And um, I do have some floor plans. I'm happy to show them if you're interested in the detail, it's not necessarily 
probably important for us to get into that level of detail, but we do have floor plans that I can walk you through if, if you'd like. Um, and all of these options, as far as the site plan goes, um, try to expand upon the existing parking layout, uh, try to better the parking layout so it's more rational, a little bit safer um, in terms of how folks would drive out. But um, for the most part, keep it generally similar looking. We're not drastically changing the layout. So the, the ultimate end result of all of this was, was looking at a project anywhere from um, roughly 7,500 to a little, uh, about 12,500 square feet, somewhere between four and, and uh, six million dollar construction cost um, at the time that we were, we were looking at it. And um, you know, that's assuming that we can more lightly renovate the upper level of town hall. Um, additional costs obviously would be included for a project cost, including contingencies, which would push that up a little bit further. So that's basically where we ended our work. Um, there was, I think, some additional work to be done to, to consider what the space needs, um, you know, really compare the space needs of the town hall with what these various options were showing. And I think where the board left off was to really dig into what was the real need that Newberry wanted to have in their future town hall, give, given that this was really a good opportunity to address shortcomings that might be present in current department uh, space uh, available to them. And also what has been able to be accomplished renting space um, in their, new, their current facilities that going back to the original town hall would potentially fork up. Uh, so that, that's basically where we're at and where we, where we stopped. And I'm happy to, like I said, get into any detail that you would prefer. Thank you. Um, so I am going to go down the agenda and I'm gonna ask um, each board member if they have any questions. I'm going to ask that you not share the different um, versions of the plan tonight, but ask that those get forwarded to the boards um, in an email so that they can look at them. And then we continue this discussion at a later, at a later date. Um, but excuse me, I just want to confirm, has Jeff Walker joined the meeting? I don't see him. No. Okay. We still have a quorum, so we can still meet. Um, so I'm going to ask, I guess, Selectman Doyle, do you have any questions for Jeff at this time? Um, I just would like to see the four plans as soon as possible. Um, I still am concerned about the, that corner right now. As far as I, I would like to, you know, really talk about the safety factor, the traffic pattern, the increase of traffic that's happened on the street in the last four years. Uh, also, if we did this corner, is there, is there an approximate schedule for construction? How long are we talking? If we, that's my first question. Hmm, Jeff, I don't, are, are we even, could we even give a guess at that? I don't know if we're even there yet. Well, I can certainly guess. Um, yeah. we, are, we are certainly at the stage of the planning process where we're, we're talking about concepts. We don't have any design uh, real design drawings yet. We have sketches and uh, we certainly are, are a little ways before we could even get talking about biddable construction documents. But generally for a project of this nature, I'd say 12 to 14 months of construction would be reasonable. Okay. That, that's all I Thank you. Right for now. Thank you, Jeff. Sure. Thank you, Mike. Um, Jerry, do you have any questions you'd like to ask Jeff? You have to unmute. And mute yourself. Oh, I thought I was. Oh, no, there you are now. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, was this the report that was issued in 2014, Mr. Shaw? Um, I'm going to look back here at my history, um, see when we did. I think most of our work took place in 2018. Oh, okay. There may have been an earlier study done by another architect. Okay. That was a combined facility that was prior to our involvement. Okay. All right. Because I, I, I was looking at the, the one that was issued today. 
in 2014. Mm -hmm. um, I guess my my only f concern is, um, you know, I, I think quite frankly we need to, and this is not a question to, for you, Mr. Shaw, uh, but I just I'm concerned about um, our finances because of this COVID thing. I mean, the cherry sheets are going to be down. Um, they, they're talking, I guess, in Washington. Uh, this week about doing some kind of uh, funding for the local towns, which would be infrastructure, which would not be roads. So I guess um, if there's going to be money for construction, I'd like to be able to be in line um, to get that. Um, but I'm, I'm just really concerned because we don't know how much it's going to cost uh, for us to send our kids to school with the ex extra expenses of um, you know social distancing in a school and whatnot, so we've we've got a lot of other issues that we really we we need to deal with um, in the here and now. So that's that's my concern our our finances because of what COVID has done to the economy. And that's Thank not you. an issue. You can't. I wish you could cure that, Mr. Shaw, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be in. I'd be in high demand if I could. You, that. you would be. You would be. Yes. <laughs> you would. That's that's what my that's what my concern is. Um, you know. Oh. Okay. Do you have any questions about um, the project itself or? Um, I, no, I really I don't because I mean at this point it's 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 still quite nebulous. There are no there are right. no decisions. Nothing has been. Nothing is definite. Okay. Thank you. So my question is, um, and I don't know if this is to Jeff or Martha, um, do we have a needs assessment done for the town? I think we went through this exercise at one point. We did, we've been through it a couple times. We did it um, with the original feasibility study, which um, Jeff Shaw referred to, and which I think Jerry may have a copy of. And then we also went through it, you know, when context architecture started. Okay. And and that um, you know that one is pretty pretty current in terms of what our what our needs are. Okay. You're like. Yep. Um, so I guess I'm going to ask that um, in addition to the plans that get forwarded around to the board members, if that needs assessment goes along with it. Certainly. That please. And um, Tracy, is there anything else that you can think of that might be helpful, or Martha? helpful to the board members to wrap their head around this project? No, I think those two documents will provide you a, a good foundation for, for, you know, us moving forward. Okay. Okay. Well, Jeff, I want to thank you for your time to dial in on a hot Tuesday night. No problem. Um, I appreciate it. I'm glad you didn't have to drive all the way up here. So, uh, <laughs> well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. And um, nice on that you. on that note, um, I think I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion made to adjourn. Second. Um, Jerry Heavey. I second. Yep. yep. Uh, so, um, any discussion? I'll do a roll call vote. Jerry Heavey. Yes. Mike Doyle? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Everyone, thank you for your time tonight.